Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Sandy, this is Sawing with Sandy, and as you can see, I'm ready to cut some logs. That's exactly what we're gonna do today. Right here behind you is the Hillbilly Hideout version 2.0. If you've been around the channel, you would have seen me build this, and if you've been around for a really long time, you might even have seen the first version of this sawmill shelter that is. It used to stand oh, probably somewhere in this region. Anyways, we got these red pines here stacked up. We took these down from Oh, down that way last time around. We winched them up with my, my Wallenstein winch on my tractor. Today we're gonna cut these and hopefully that goes smoothly. We duck our way in here. I've gone ahead and put a fresh blade on and when I say a fresh blade, sometimes I mean brand new, but not today. This is not a brand new blade I put on, but it is one that I sharpened. So it should, should be cutting good. The sawmill looks like it's all ready to go. Might have to add just a touch of fuel. I'm gonna cut these logs without lubrication here today. They are green, green, green because they were standing, well, not all that long ago. So there's going to be a lot of moisture in there. I'm sure that moisture will help the blade sm slide, uh, can't talk, will help the blade slide smoothly through. And I'm sure it'll keep that blade cool as well. And if we look over here, you'll notice the lumber shed is completely empty. That's where all the siding was that I have put up on my equipment shed. That's what we're trying to fill up again today. I'm trying to put some more lumber back in there for that equipment shed siding so we can finish it off. Just a few other things to take note of. You're probably gonna notice that my uh, my slab rack here is overflowing and I do realize that. I just haven't got around to cleaning it out. If they start to sort of fall off the side here, that's fine. Here, uh, very soon, I'm gonna decide whether I'm gonna cut them and make them into more firewood like you see over there, or I might just run it through my chipper for some material for my trails. Anyways, that's what we're up against today. Let's cut some lumber. It was raining a moment ago, so having this roof overhead is gonna be a nice thing here today. Guys, I appreciate you all being here. Let's get down to work. Here we go. Some of you guys are gonna mention that it looks quite dusty and dirty up here right now, and I do tend to keep it quite a bit cleaner than this, but the fact of the matter is I left the blower somewhere I forgot to get it and bring it out here. So because of that, I'm gonna to have to use the broom, but we'll make the best of it. Honest to goodness, that was the first pull in quite a while. Just a moment ago, you guys saw me holding up the tape measure. What I'm trying to figure out is what height my first cut's gonna be. Normally, I'd use the laser for that, but I don't have it up and going right now. But if I hold up that tape, I can read off whatever the highest measurement is. That's gonna be what I crank up the sawmill to and make the first cut with. You guys are gonna see me cutting three quarters of an inch thick boards here. In terms of the width, I'm going to go as wide as possible. It's also going to be quite varied because I have a variety of diameter logs. Three quarters of an inch thick, whatever width I can get. That's what you'll see me doing here today.
little too high. Uh, one other thing I'm going to mention to you guys. I don't have one of those crank up tow boards to raise the log in order to make up for when there's a taper. So what I do, and I'll take you guys off here. I just take this board and I just put it under the low end the uh, and that tapers. And that brings it up so I don't waste any wood. Uh, some of you guys have also mentioned that this allows you to keep the grain nice and level uh, with your cut. And that's fine too. I don't worry as much with that since logs don't vary a huge amount in diameter. Uh, but anyways, that's what I'm using because I don't have one of those crank up tow boards.
Well guys, it turned out to be a pretty nice afternoon out here, but I can't complain because any afternoon out at the sawmill is a nice one. We cut some logs into some lumber and that's getting me closer to my end goal, which is getting that equipment shed sided and the doors built. I will get that done eventually, but as you can imagine, stuff takes time and well, when you're getting your own lumber from the woods around you, it takes even more time. Now, just to answer a few questions that have come up over, uh, over the days, over the weeks in the comments section, People ask me about hunching over like this as I'm cutting. The truth is I don't have to do that. I could just walk normally, but I'm one of those guys that like to watch the blade cut the wood. Maybe you're, maybe you're not like that and you don't have to hunch over, but I find this, uh, this setup with me looking over like that doesn't bother me at all. Probably uh, if it did, I wouldn't do it. Also, some of you guys have asked me again about the height of this sawmill. Based on my current setup here, you've seen I have to walk over the rails here in order to put my lumber in the lumber shed. I don't want this any higher because then I can no longer walk across it, at least not safely, and so I like it at this height. Not to mention, if I make this any higher, that has to be higher. I don't really have time right now to play around with this. I'm probably going to let that go for, well, the next while anyways. If it starts to be cumbersome, if it starts to be a problem, then I'll raise this up. But as it is now, I like being able to walk over it. 
I like being able to uh, sort of handle the logs low as opposed to higher. And that's the real reason. Anyways, guys, I hope you come back next time. I'm sure to be up to something. As you can imagine, we got a few more logs to cut. And, well, I don't really need an excuse to get out here to cut because I love being out here. If you haven't done so already, guys, give me the old thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys all next time.